are. Hey, I just want to share with you. Um, I was watching Mark Montano, and <clears throat> and he was making these bracelets, and you just wrap them with um, material, and then bead them, and blah blah blah, and all that stuff. So, uh, really cool. And then I think Secret Soto may have done a version of his bracelets too, if I remember. But um, this is what I got. I started making one for a friend of mine for her birthday, and I don't have that one. I gave it to her. She actually was the first one I made. It was really pretty, and I gave it to her. But um, my neighbor, actually, my friend next door. And um, then I started making more. You know, you start doing stuff, and I realized how many beads and all kinds of stuff that I have. Um, and if you wanted to learn how to do them, I would watch his video. He's got a really good video on it, and I'll put the link below. But this is what I got. I just took some old fabric, and he tells you to just make it in strips of uh, half an inch strips, and then wrap it around. And you're supposed to use a little the little tie thing, those little plastic ties. Well, I didn't have any at the time. I have them now, but I didn't have any at the time, so I just used wire, and then I wrapped everything around the wire. And um, they're so cool. And then I just got out my beads that I use for all my projects with the uh, clay tiles and stuff. I realized I had so many of them. So this is, you know, what I've gotten out of so much fun. But what I wanted to show you is, now, I decided, this one I just, it's just started. So I've got, I've got to wrap it more and do more stuff to it. But this is paper towel. And these are my paper towels that I have that I used to you know clean up and stuff and I and I keep them to use them for collage and stuff but this one is all paper towel like this one and this one look how pretty that came out and then I made a um, candle holder uh, you know a little candle thing out of a can and I did the same thing for the top of this I had to put all my crazy beads on the top and um, Actually, this I was going to do clay tiles on, like uh, Cali Black, and um, then I realized after I put the holes in it that I would have to cover up the... So I couldn't figure out how to do that with having the holes here, so I just decided, well, I'm going to paint it, and I used Deco Art paints on everything, and then I just layered it with a lot of twinkle, twinkles, those craft twinkles, and um, fuzzies on here, from and I, and I actually... Um, put this on here but I did glue it on there because it wasn't staying on right so I just you know put one of my little girl faces in here cut it out put it in here and then use some I used a stencil on this and then I just went over it kinda did a wash in um, the metallic paint with a um, they have this really cool metallic paint that I used and went over it with that and I did the twinkles I was just lots of layers of stuff on this but the main thing is oh, this glue. That's the only thing with the hot glue. Oh, um, I wanted to show you how. And this one too, it, you know, I wrapped in there and used um, used my paper towels. So I just thought that was kind of cute. If you have paper towels and you want to rip them up and make these bracelets, they work really, really well. They actually stay nice on here and I guess you could spray and seal it first before you went on put the with the jewelry on it you know with the beads but I didn't do that and this one I just did with some black ribbon and stuff that I had left over so they're really nice and I love them and let's put them on see if I can get them all on one and uh, she loves hers and um, makes me happy so Ooh, there they are, and I'm going to make more because I'm going to make some for my daughters and stuff. So, just thought I'd share that with you. If you have your paper towels around, you can make beautiful bracelets and things with them. So, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. I just wanted to show you the um, can again. I, I pushed these down. I didn't like the way that was kind of like sticking out. And I did go over the, the areas where I had glue because it was like that icky foggy little glue little blob so I, I painted them black and you can see I still have no matter how many times I go over this I still have all those threads from the glue and also the bottom now I'm not liking this I don't like the way this came out the you know I was trying to do it with the little um, oh goodness 
I'm gonna have to wash this down, I think, with all this glue fuzz on it. Um, I was trying to go over it with the glitter writer, and it just was like, I, I guess my hand wasn't straight or whatever, but it skipped, and I don't like the way that looks. So what I think I'm gonna do, and which I should have done from the beginning, because now I've gotta get this off, is I'm just gonna use my little uh, black and white tiles that I have, or maybe I'll just do a smaller version of the jewels and just do a really thin one going around the bottom. I think I like that better. I don't like this, and I don't want to leave it like that, so I will do that, and, um, you know, whenever. Whenever I can get that done, I will, and then I'll show you. But I just wanted to get, you out, get it out there and show you, especially those bracelets. I mean, they're so much fun. And this was just like an added extra because I thought of, you know, doing this. And I kind of like gypsy looking kind of candle holder thing. So this is going to be fun. And it looks really pretty lit up because I did light it up. But, you know, when you take a picture of it lit up, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look, you can't really see how really pretty it is unless you do it in the dark. And then my camera is, uh, doesn't work in the dark. So sorry about that. I wish I could show you the candle lit in it but it's really I just put a little tea candle in it and what you can do is put a little sand on the bottom if you have sand and just stick that on the bottom and then put the little tea light in there and you can also um, make a wire and attach it make a little wired basket and then attach the tea light on it you know rest the tea light in it and then have a little long piece and then this way you can put the tea light you can light it and then put it in and you don't have to worry about trying to get in there. But this, it really isn't that deep. And this was a um, pineapple juice can. So it's lots of fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I hope I inspired you to make some bracelets, uh, use your paper towels. I thought that was really cool the way they came out. And uh, get your beads out and make yourself some bracelets. Make your friends bracelets. Make your family bracelets. That's what I'm going to do and have some fun okay thank you so much i'm so glad you were here please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe till the next time bye bye i did try to put the holes in without putting the water in it and freezing it but the sides just kept caving in it was it wasn't working right so i had to pour water in it and freeze it once you do that, it's really easy to take a hammer and a screwdriver and pop the holes right in.